That laugh. I feel so ridiculous for not realizing last episode that it's Armstrong. It's it's the perfect role for him. I love how his respectable muscles just transcend roles. Incredible valor. <laughs> Yeah, you should watch Full Metal Alchemist. Mm, yeah, good luck with that. Even if everyone thinks I'm useless. I'm sorry, Izuku. I wish things were different. At least mom loves you. That's comforting, right? <laughs> Every teenage boy is comforted by his mother's love. Is it possible to become a hero even if I don't have a quirk? Yeah, what's he gonna say? I feel like he loved that that question. Could I ever hope to be someone like you? <laughs> it's a great shot. What is happening? That took a dark turn. People think I don't have a chance. Not paying any attention. Totally focused on himself. That makes me want to prove them wrong. Hell yeah. I want people to see my fearless smile and feel safe. Just like you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> While the intro is playing, let's do some over analysis. <laughs> of course, Deku's desire to save people is partly a good thing and partly a selfish thing where he just, you know, he really doesn't know his place in the world. And he thinks that admiration of others will give it to him, which is why he like seems to admire these celebrity heroes who are not really heroes, right? Like they're kind of in it for their own uh, fame and, and money, it seems. There's some weirdness in there for sure. This is actually something that comes up a lot with me and, and friends. The idea of like heroism and self-sacrifice. I think that there's a healthy boundary you gotta, you gotta keep it in. If you do things for others at your own personal expense, there's a very high chance that they will end up taking it for granted and also seeing you as lesser. It's kind of counterintuitive. Like sometimes people like you less the more you do for them. And so I think a good barometer for helping people is you do something that you would feel great about doing regardless of the outcome. Like if it made people dislike you or if people were ungrateful, you'd be fine with that because you did the thing that you felt was most right and then that is its own value. If you imagine people not appreciating it or being ungrateful, that means there's something else mixed in there. It means there, you know, there's something about looking for congratulations or looking for a pat on the back or something like that. And that's where you get into the, the sort of grimy, weird area of helping. And I'm guessing Deku has a bunch of that, you know? Although I'm sure he's a great guy and actually, you know, wants to do good too. It's both. I went way past the intro, but what are you gonna do? That's just how I roll. <laughs> that's my quirk, <laughs> talking too long. <laughs> Tatooine shopping district. Back on the desert planet market. Bill and soda. Damn, all my didn't even make it in the trash can. It's not very heroic. You were a little harsh with them today. It's his own fault for getting in my way. <laughs> I think I, I misread Katsuki last time. He's low key hilarious. Someone's got to teach that worthless nerd how the world really works. <laughs> yeah, it'll be Katsuki. He really understands. We can sneak into the bar at the station, pick up some ladies. Now that's a good idea. Idiot! How old are these kids? Damn. I like a skin suit with some fire. <laughs> Damn it, I wanted to see the bar arc. <laughs> Episode two, what it takes to be a hero. Maybe they can pick up girls afterwards. You're not him. You're a fake. An imposter. I mean, if he could transform, is he really a fake though? Damn, all my He's like Armstrong's voice with Azumi's weakness. He defeats all obstacles and wins the day with a fearless smile. <sighs> There's plenty of fear behind that smile. Man, it must be exhausting being him, having to keep up that facade. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty gross, right? I got this in a big fight five years back. My respiratory system was basically destroyed. Damn. I lost my whole stomach. He is Azumi. I'm supposed to be the guy who's always smiling, right? I'm the symbol of peace. People everywhere have to think that I'm never afraid. This is kind of like celebrity. Pro heroes are always having to risk their lives. Some villains just can't be beaten without powers. So can you be a hero? Not without a quirk. I mean, on some level, I appreciate the honesty. If you want to help people, there are plenty of other ways to do it. Right, I'm right. A police officer. They get crap because the heroes capture most of the villains, but it's a fine profession. Yeah, he actually seems like a great guy. Like, I mean, he's sort of down right now, right? Like he's he's upset, so it's coming off as negative, but I really appreciate the honesty. Four reasons he talked about, most people would would try to play it off. I mean, he's kind of forced because he, he ended up in this weakened state, but there's such a strong incentive to try to project the image like you're always fine, you know, you're always great. Like I'm living my best life 24 seven, which is not the case for anybody. Like literally no one lives their best life 24 seven. In fact, most people are lucky to live their best life one 
seven. <laughs> if you got one hour a day of your best life, you're doing great. I mean, it's just it's just not how things work as humans. We're, we're always seeking things and life has a way of just atrophying in every possible way. So as soon as you solve one problem, eight more emerge. And the moments of happiness are rare for everyone, even people who have everything, you know? Like once you have everything, that just feels like your life. You get everything you want, but then you're still left with the same questions you've had all your life and everyone else has, which is, well, what do I do now? How do I find fulfillment or whatever, which raises an interesting question because if that's the case, if that's going to be the case, even when you achieve your, you know, your biggest dreams or whatever, then shouldn't you start working on that now? Like what would be the ultimate thing? And in my opinion, the ultimate thing is being exactly the person you want to be in, in value and thought so that no external circumstance can take anything away from you. And I think that comes through action, but it's not the result of the actions themselves. Anyway, he's just laying it all out there, honestly. And he doesn't look down on other professions. That was sort of a total answer, I think. It's not bad to have a dream, young man. Just... Make sure your dreams are attainable, realistic. Smart goals. Now, let's get you to the station. <sighs> Oops. Okay, so we didn't litter. It was an accident. I take back what I said. A villain! I wonder which hero will show! So can you be a hero? Not without a quirk. Don't do anything stupid. <laughs> What the hell is this? Some kind of goo. <laughs> yes, it would appear. <laughs> uh, let me go! It's pretty powerful. You've got so much power. Yeah. Dude is a legit super villain. It's her! That new hero the giant will stop it! Butt lady. <laughs> <laughs> is this guy doing baseball metaphors? Is that his power? My quirk is baseball puns. Don't worry, I bet every hero in the city is coming. Also Deku. And after lecturing that kid about what it takes to be a hero. I mean, you didn't grandstand at all. You didn't sugarcoat it. He'll never be a hero. Better to find out now instead of later, I guess. <laughs> Huge. Sexy. Why am I here? Did I subconsciously walk this Just way? Just to suffer? Out? I shouldn't even stop. I eh, just do it. Isn't that the villain All Might was chasing earlier today? <laughs> what? All Might? No way, he lost. Where is he? Well, can someone call him or something? Seriously, why hasn't he shown oh, up? Oh no, the this heroes? hurts. Bad for your reputation, which is all that matters. <laughs> I'm worthless. This guy's hard on himself. I'm not a real hero. Someone, a real hero will come soon. <laughs> I knew it. I don't, I don't know if this is the way. Yeah, so you have that contrast of All Might thinking he's worthless, even though he's like the ultimate hero and has Armstrong's voice and muscles. So that's clearly wrong. With Deku, who is nothing yet, but actually has legs. Page 25. Right. Page 25. It reminds me of uh, FLCL with the curry. Ha-chan! <laughs> what the hell? Why are you here? Yeah, he's not gonna be happy about this. You have to do something, no matter the cost. Hey, there you go. Getting inspired. I really am pathetic. Oh my... Oh, damn, he's pushing himself to the limit. I see now I wasn't living up to my own ideal. Nice. Heroes are always risking their lives. <laughs> Damn, man, this is, he's gonna pay a cost, though. Oh, holy crap. Did he do that? He changed the weather. Wow. And now it is time for me to fly away and throw up blood. <laughs> oh my, save the day again! He's amazing! Hanging in there by a thread. You gotta repay the favor now. Take him under your wing. Man, you're tough, kid. And that quirk is something else. Yeah, but he knows the truth. Yeah, this could go a bunch of different ways. Probably gonna go the way of more resentment, but secret love. <laughs> I would never ask for a weakling like you to help me. Don't think you can look down on me. Huh? Got that? 
I was fine by myself. He's talking to himself You're right now. A quirkless failure who won't even cut it as a Renekop. You didn't help me. You did nothing. Don't forget it. Also, I love I you. you I owe you everything. You're my favorite, Deku. <laughs> Deku Chan. <laughs> Yes, now I should get back to giving up on my dreams. <laughs> there he is. That's how I'm gonna enter a room from now on. I am here. How'd you get rid of all those reporters? I stand for justice, not sound bites. I am more my You told me you didn't have a power. So when I saw this timid, quirkless boy try to save a life, it inspired me to act too. I remembered my mother's words in that moment. I'm sorry, Izuku. I wish things were different. What does his mom know? Young man, you too can become a hero. <laughs> that was a beautiful shot. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that this is the story of how I became the world's greatest hero. <laughs> nice. Spoiler alert. This episode did so much for me in my thinking about All Might. The way he's introduced, he's very, you know, stereotypical hero. Me being suspicious, very suspicious, after watching all these shows where everyone betrays you. My thinking was that the depth would come from the fact that he's actually not everything he appears. And it turns out that's true, but not in a shady way. It's like in the best of ways where he's just like a human being. He's got a lot of pressure on his shoulders and it's tough to deal with that no matter who you are. And I understand this feeling so well, you know, like you do things that you love to do, but sometimes you lose sight of, of why you do it, the feeling you had for it, the excitement. You can get lost in the routine of it or the pressure or the expectation or fear of losing what you have is a big one too. But every now and then something reminds you and those are really amazing moments. And so I felt that in that scene where he's watching Deku run at this uh, slime thing. That's why he does it and the rest doesn't matter. And so it was sort of a reminder for him. It's not about the press or the image, even though he still got away with that, right? Like he still got the exposure. But I think the, the cool thing about that, the reason why that feels good is because the thing he's doing is about him answering to himself based on what he thinks is right. That's why I think that that's so great. He sees the right thing to do and he does it even though it's a great cost without expectation of reward. In fact, maybe with expectation of, of something harmful. It's not even the saving of Deku or Kachan. It's the fact that he met his own ideal. Like he met the value he set for himself and he did it. That's the heroic quality in there, I think. That's the thing to extract from there. Speaking of like, what is a hero, right? Cause that's that's sort of Deku and I guess the show's question. That's what that is. It's not, not the power. And although Deku will definitely have a quirk at some point, probably some meta quirk, he already has that in a way, at least to some degree, even though, like I said, there's probably a bunch of other stuff in there too. This show's a lot of fun. I'm realizing that the, the humor is really good. It's subtle, but it, it gets me. The comedy shows some self-awareness, which I love. So yeah, that's the end of My Hero Academia episode two. I'll see you next time when we finally, finally get the long-awaited Katsuki and Friends bar arc <laughs> where they pick up chicks. <laughs>